Hi, I'm Karen Carbone, and welcome to Check It Out, where we explore the variety of books, programs, and resources available at your Fairfax County Public Library. Today, we're visiting the City of Fairfax Regional Library's Virginia Room. Let's head upstairs. In this edition, we'll learn how you can take your family history research to the next level with free access to the best online ancestry resources. Go on a trip down memory lane with a special yearbook project and help preserve your family history for generations to come. We have an interesting show lined up for you today. So sit back and relax while we introduce you to your Fairfax County Public Library on Check It Out. The Fairfax County Public Library's Virginia Room maintains a collection rich in regional history and genealogy, as well as local and state government information and legal resources. Staff here collect the historical record of the people, associations, events, and places of Fairfax County. If you're interested in family history research, this is the place to start. In addition to the books and items in this special collection, your library card also gives you free access to many popular online databases. Let's check it out. The Virginia Room is located in the city of Fairfax. We're called the City of Fairfax Regional Library. We're a special collection of history and genealogy materials. and We've been around for more than 50 years. Frequently people come here to do genealogy research. Here in Northern Virginia, there is a good portion of folks who this is their home for many generations, but for most of us, we've come here. And so we have resources for the Eastern Seaboard, but really the whole of the United States and Europe when you look at the online databases and the collection. As you can imagine, the online databases tremendously increase uh, the collection and how we can reach people and access to information. Uh, the most popular genealogy database that we have is Ancestry, and everybody knows about Ancestry. Uh, and you know about it because it's a superb collection. Um, another one that's used a lot is called American Ancestors. It's created by the New England Historic and Genealogical Society. The useful thing about that is it's primarily New England and New York State. So for people looking for New England ancestors, and the book collection is not as strong for that. It's a tremendous database. Both of those have to be used in the library, um, any of the branches. We've just recently acquired a database called Fold3. This is thrilling. It's available off-site, so with your current active library card, you can access it at home in your PJs during your lunch hour. And Fold3 is full of military records from the National Archives and Records Administration. It's broad, it's deep, it's dense, it's challenging. If you get lost, um, call the Virginia Room for guidance, but it's a tremendous database and we've just received access to it. The other one that's really important to know about is one called Heritage Quest. You can access Heritage Quest from anywhere off-site with your library card. If you're a new genealogist, I would recommend first coming in. They have a wonderful collection here, just basic how-to books. Of course, the, the librarians, the archivists that work here are, are very knowledgeable about genealogy, and particularly in this area, it can kind of help you give some, some basic ideas about how to, how to go about doing it. You know, as a genealogist, it's just it's a thrill to have a, a collection like this available to you. It has all the, the kind of genealogical resources that you want. It's got historical resources. It's got all the, the computers with access to you know, the databases. Uh, it's got, they got maps. They got just, just about everything that, that, that you could want. Uh, so uh, it's, it's been quite, quite enjoyable to be able to come here regularly. So many researchers now are beginning to do DNA tests. In fact, not too long ago, I paid, I asked my brother and my mother if they would do DNA tests. So the results came, and I have no idea what they mean. 
So once you have a sense of the science and understand some of that, you want to be sure to fill in the blanks with who these people were. So it's nice to know that I came from a certain place or I have bits and pieces of this ethnicity, but who were the people that I came from? What were their lives like and who were they? And that's where the genealogy materials here in the library and online and with assistance from the librarians, you can tell a full story of where do you come from. A big part of genealogy is, is being able to explain the context of what the, the fa your family, your ancestors were doing and being able to look up the, the, the understanding of what was going on historically uh, around them is so useful and that's what particularly this collection of books here at the Virginia Room is wonderful for because you can go in and you can find out for uh, certainly obviously mostly for Virginia but for many other areas too and can get a better understanding of wh what was going on and how your family fit into the whatever the great historical movements that were going on at that time. To find out what genealogy databases we have, you'll go to the library homepage. In the top right, there's a little search box, key in genealogy, and the first thing that comes up leads you to the genealogy page for the Virginia Room, and then you'll see online databases. Click on that, and you'll see the databases that I mentioned. In addition to genealogy research, the Fairfax County Public Library's Virginia Room contains thousands of articles of important local history. One special project offers a trip down memory lane through an archive of high school yearbooks. Nearly 300 yearbooks from around Fairfax County have been digitized and are now available online. View the vintage clothes, retro hairstyles, and find family and friends from more than 40 years ago. So the Virginia Room is the special collections branch of Fairfax County Public Library. We focus on local history and genealogy, and our special collections consist of photographs, manuscript collections, yearbooks, newspapers, all kinds of things like that. Virginia Room has a rare book room. It's where all of the yearbooks are stored. It's climate controlled. We like to keep temperatures low and humidity low so these collections can survive for future generations. Since mid-2016, Fairfax County Public Library has partnered with the Library of Virginia, who has a yearbook digitization project ongoing. And what we do is we send out our yearbooks to Princeton, New Jersey, which is where Internet Archive is based. And they have digitized these yearbooks, which are so far, 257 yearbooks of Fairfax County Public Schools have been digitized. We have 400 yearbooks in our collection, and a portion of that have been digitized and are available online. The years that we're covering under this project go from the 1930s up until 1977, which is when Copyright Act takes into effect. We have digitized schools from around the county, including middle schools, intermediate schools, high schools, um, West Springfield, Jeb Stewart, Fairfax High School, Falls Church, all kinds of high schools and middle schools. Falls Church High School is going to be 75 years old this year, and that diamond anniversary um, meant I was going through all the yearbooks trying to pull out information. And then I heard, or I, I learned that there was a program in the Falls Church City that had some of their old books uh, photocopied by the state of Virginia, and I thought, why not Falls Church High School books? and I was directed to Chris over here at the Virginia Room at Fairfax and asked him and he was collecting books and I gave him, you know, 50 pounds worth of books. It is a great resource that uh, they can either come in here to the, the library to see the hard copy, but then online you can go at your leisure from your living room and, and search any year of your, your book and you can put a person's name in or a sport and it actually is um, digitized so it's this ultimate research that uh, if you want to see what was happening in 20 years before your class or 20 years after your class it's a wonderful quick and easy way of researching without having to go and pull out each volume. Citizens of Fairfax County can view these yearbooks on the Virginia Room's website. There is a link there to Internet Archive where all these yearbooks are available. Do you remember life before digital cameras? and the convenience of phones that take pictures whenever we want? How about waiting for photos to be developed and carefully saving extra prints and negatives? Even if that was before your time, there are probably hundreds of pictures of your family and friends that are lovingly placed in photo albums. 
And often these photos are the only copies. The Fairfax County Public Library's Memory Depot is one way to preserve your family history for generations to come. Fairfax County Public Library is introducing a new service that we call the Memory Depot. We are offering it at the City of Fairfax Regional Library and the Sherwood Regional Library. The Memory Depot is a do-it-yourself digital preservation center. You have the option to transfer VHS cassettes to a digital file. You can also use our scanning stations to uh, scan photos, slides, negatives, other historical documents that you want to preserve for your family memories. At our orientation sessions for the Memory Depot, we will provide basic instructions on how to use all of the equipment. So if people are not familiar with uh, how the process works for using a scanner or the transfer for video, we will take care of it, getting them started, and then the instructions are available for them to continue with their do-it-yourself projects. We think this is an important service to offer our customers, especially as I'm standing here in our Virginia room, the uh, part of the library system that offers materials for local history and genealogy, so that people will be able to preserve their own family histories and share them uh, for future generations. For more information about the Memory Depot, please visit the library's website. Well, that's it for this edition of Check It Out. If you're interested in learning more about our variety of resources, programs, and books for everyone, make sure to visit your nearest Fairfax County Public Library. See you next time.